So I wanted to make a quick video showing how these calipers on the 79 CB750 single overhead cam, how they go together, because I'm actually in the middle of rebuilding one for my 550 project. And I took everything apart, had it powder coated, and then put the project on hold for a while, came back and realized I had completely forgotten how everything goes back together. And surprisingly, there's not a lot of diagrams or resources about how these are supposed to go together correctly. So I kind of figured after I did research to double check and see how everything went. So I bought a, I bought a used one on eBay and I'm going to tear this one down and just sort of double check it and reference everything with it. So <clears throat> this one actually, someone replaced the bolts right here with Allen head bolts, which is kind of nice. So I'm going to steal these for my project, but... First things first, I'm going to pull off the shield here. I always use an impact on this stuff. And that comes off like that. A um, couple things I was going to point out were this clip right in here. I wanted to double check and make sure where that actually went. It sort of goes over the the rubber piece and sits up against the actual caliper. Um, and if you notice in here, you can see these retaining clips. These are actually to keep the pads from rattling. And a lot of these calipers don't have these either. They've gone missing or people just forget about them, but there's two sets of them. There's one that sits right in here and there's two on each side that hold the pad in place. So I'm going to pull off these Allen head bolts probably set them aside and use them on the new project. There's one. <clears throat> and then I'm going to pull this thing apart. And you can see how these clips hold in. They kind of sit vertical and sit in place and when you pull them out you realize there's sort of a groove that holds it in place and it sort of sits right here and with mine my other set I had it powder coated so I actually had to take this off and, and file through here to make sure there was a good uh, surface for these to go against so that's kind of how those two sit in place <clears throat> the other thing that really confused me was there's these rubber pieces right here and uh, the placement of them is so the, the bolts sit on top of it, like so. And then if you look, when you pull these off, it actually, the bolt sort of slides through the front. And there's a little piece on the back of this that, that gets these rubber pieces to sit there. And I went on eBay for mine, and I, I replaced, there was a kit on eBay, and I ended up getting a new piston from 4 into 1. And I ended up finding a thing on eBay where they replaced all the seals. So the seal here for the piston, the rubber seal here for these uh, these sort of floating pieces. Um, the other thing that was really weird is on my other set, I have this same bolt. Now this, this bolt on the left side of it has this rubber piece that sits here. And it sits in a little groove on the bolt. And you'll know which one's which because this side actually is too small for this so it'll actually fit in here but for some reason on my other one this rubber piece has expanded too much and I cannot find a replacement for this so I'm going to steal this bolt for my new one too but both of them come out like that this one might be a little trickier there we go <clears throat> you know there's some grease on both sides of those so you can kind of see the difference here the two separate bolts but they, they basically will fit in the side that they fit in so there's those here's a final look at this whole piece with the retaining clips in these pieces here like I said I'm going to steal this for my other project get all that stuff out of the way I did notice that my current one that I have powder coated does not have this little clip here. I'm not really sure what it's for. seems to come out pretty easily, but uh, mine does not have it, so I'm also going to steal this piece. 
Um, here's where the banjo bolt goes. Here's where the uh, line coming in for pressure goes. <clears throat> and then here is the piston and the seal that goes around it. And you'll see the little clip. My kit that I bought on eBay comes with this little clip here. And obviously I'm hoping that the previous owner, this is all assembled correctly, but based on diagrams, this is, seems right. And I just wanted to kind of make sure that I had everything correct. Um, piston goes this way. I actually put the piston in wrong on mine, so I'm going to have to pull this out and reverse it. And you can buy those pistons on four into one, like I said. The other weird thing was this clip. And right now it's kind of being held on by the piston. So I don't even know if I can pull it out at this point. But on mine, it was just basically, it just fell out when I disassembled it. Here we go. But with this clip, if you're looking at it like this, that little piece up top will sit towards the top of it. So that will go up and then we'll slide in like so. And I think this is just to keep pressure on the pads to keep them from uh, rattling too much while it's going. But yeah, um, I just kind of wanted to make this because after going through all the articles on the internet and on the single overhead cam forums and all the diagrams on those uh, parts websites, I still could not find reliable sources for how this all goes together. So hopefully this uh, helps out the next person reassembling this stuff. Here's a kind of final look on this. That's all.